here's the man right here looking for the king and Austin Idol. I don't see Idol. Well, now let, let me just let me just say one quick thing here. I know that Austin Idol will be here. Uh, I talked to Austin Idol last night. He said there's no problem. He's chartered a plane. He is going to be here today. And I'm, uh, I hope he knows that we changed times. You know, we well, used to be on the... I, I, I think he does. I, I know I told him that, and I hope he remembers it. But I'm sure that Austin Idol will be here. Well, and, you know, Richard Lee was talking about Idol. He said he had him taken care of. I hope there's no connection. Let me just say, you know, you, you can always tell when Richard Lee is lying. If his lips are moving, he's lying. So I don't put one bit of credit in what Richard Lee says out here. There ain't nothing Richard Lee could do to stop Austin Idol from being here if he wants to be here. And he told me, he assured me last night that he's going to be here. And not only today, but he's going to be my partner to, uh, in that big match against those moon dogs. And boys, I got news for you. You're not going to enjoy it. When you get to that Mid-South Coliseum tomorrow at 3 o'clock, you better take a good look around. You better look at your surroundings. You better look at your dressing room. You better look at Richard Lee, and you better look at each other because it could very well be the last time you look at anything because when you put the King and the Universal Heartthrob together, I don't see anybody in the world. I'm not just talking about around here. I don't see anybody in the world that can stop that team. I know firsthand just how devastating Austin Idol can be. I know firsthand just what Austin Idol will stoop to to win a match. And I know firsthand how bad Austin Idol wants money and how bad Austin Idol wants to be the world tag team champions. And tomorrow afternoon, I can assure you that's just exactly what we're going to do. Now, I, as I said, I'm still expecting Austin to be here, and I'm sure he will be here today, so don't worry about that. Okay, very good. That's the king. Well, as a matter of fact, I, I hope he gets here uh, very soon. He's scheduled in the match here. Yeah, we've got a match coming up. Let's take a break, and we'll be back in just a moment. The very loud invader has been in the ring for a few minutes. The King has just arrived. He's up on the apron. T.D. Steele's going to referee this one. The King hands the crown out to the security guard. Takes off the warm-up jacket while he's on the apron. And he's saying something to uh, T.D. Steele. I think he's probably said, hey, did you inspect him? Make sure he didn't bring in any uh, foreign objects. And T.D. assures him that he has. And we can assure you that same thing. T.D. has made a inspection. Uh, the King with a crowd behind him set to go and Corey Macklin, here we go. Here we go, Jerry Lawler and the Invader. By the way, Austin Idol. Yeah, Austin Idol is uh, is not here. It's a single match. Uh, I, I, I just, oh, everything registered all of a sudden. So it's gonna be Lawler against the Invader as a single. Yeah, Richard Lee was at him mouthing about Idol. Idol has not made his arrival yet. Looking for the Universal Heartthrob. That made it here yet, but we got a single bout with Lawler and the Invader. Lawler working on the Invader now. Going after that match. Boy, he's got it almost halfway open there. Throws Invader to the turnbuckle. Invader down. Flat on his face. Bit right hand by Lawler. Follows down on him. Takes him up. Backdrop, what a big one on the Invader. Fans said, go for it, go for it, go for the mask. That's what they want there. <laughs> what he's gonna do. Yeah, he's got it. See, he's it. trying to stop him. Looks like it. Oh, oh look, look out, Moondog. Look, look, look out behind, Jerry. Oh, look out. Moondog's coming here. Oh, boy. Lawler. I guess we need to get some help out here for Jerry. The Moondog's out here. All over the chest, I went out on Jerry. Got that chip. Blue Dog spot, Dale Lawler across the back for the chair, continues to work on him. TD, looks like he's going for help. Oh. Yeah, TD still been running out of here. I guess he's going to get some help for Lawler. Two against one, the Moon Dog. Three against one if you count that stupid chair. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Got that chair working on Lawler again. Oh boy. Crazy moon dogs out here. In the midsection, they can't Lawler with that chair. Uh, notice someone else is missing. Richard Lee yeah. sent him out here, but he's not around. Yeah, I don't see Richard. They've got that crazy chair. The reason that's very bad is because nobody can call him up. Here's Jeff. Here's Jeff. Yeah, 
in the ring now to help the king out. Picks that chair up. Whoa! Whoa! On the bulldog, Jeff Jarrett comes in to help Lola out. Well, there's Richard Lee. Oh, there he is. Look at him with a bone in his hand. Oh, Jeff, look out there. Richard caught him from behind with that bone. Yeah, Dave, he come running right out here. As soon as you recognize he wasn't here, here he comes. Speak of the devil. Yeah, he came with that big uh, moon dog bone in his hand and smashed Jeff from behind. And now they've got Lawler down on the mat. They're working on Jeff. Here comes Robert Fuller. Tennessee star Robert Fuller coming in. Working on moon dogs now. Coming out to have Lawler and Jared out. Richard Lee standing in the ring blowing that crazy whistle. Richard. Oh, Robert grabs Richard Lee. Now Richard. Oh, boy. What a ring full of action. Robert Fuller. Look out, hey, here comes Flaming it. Star in there now. Oh, boy. Flaming Star is out here. What has he got oh, on there? He threw fire at Robert Fuller. He threw some fire on him. Oh, boy. He caught Robert with some fire. Flaming Star came in there. Oh, boy. Robert's Robert. down here on the floor. He, yeah. got a, he got a fireball full in the face there from the Flaming Star. Now we know what Richard Lee meant earlier, Corey. Yeah. What he said, it would tell you why we call him Flaming Hey, Star. Eddie Marlin now. Throwing Eddie Marlin up on the ring apron. Trying to get him. Hey, oh. on, Eddie. Yeah, watch out. Moon Dog's coming after Eddie. Yeah, I agree with you, Eddie. Let's take a break and get this one settled. We'll be back. Come on back, Austin Idol is here! Oh. We'll get that commercial break in later. Oh, Austin oh. Idol has arrived! Look out! Oh. Going after the Moon Dog! Oh. Idol, oh. Lawler, you Jared! Heart throb. Austin Idol, come in here! Oh, he's got me right with his suitcase! He lost his shoes and all that day. Going after the moon dogs and flaming star. The other moon dog in the middle of the ring. Idol grabs him into the ropes now. Oh, he caught him. What a clothesline. Oh, boy. And the tide has turned but, as the Universal yeah. Heart Thumb arrived. Suitcase still in hand. Oh, look out. Uh, Jeff Jarrett with a chair going after Richard Lee. Oh, boy. Swinging back and forth. Boy, what a lot of action. Idol picks up that suitcase that he came in here with. Working on Moondog's spot now. Working over him again with that case. Jeff Jarrett with the chair. Oh, Moondog still going after Idol now. That's one of those aluminum-sided cases that Austin Idol is using on Moondog's spot. One of those big cases. Still got the Memphis tag on it from when Idol flew into Memphis and headed up to the ring just in time. We were going to take a commercial break there, and Idol came running in here. Look out, Dave. Look out over here. Oh, look out. Look out. The moon dog with Jeff over on the desk. Eddie Marlin's out here still trying to get order restored. <laughs> Again, for you guys in the booth, we're going to have to get that commercial break in, but stay with us right now. Look at Lawler's got Moondog Spike right there. Oh, boy. Working over him there. I guess that's some shaving cream. Yeah, some shaving cream that Idol had in his suitcase. Yeah. Fell out there. Lawler's got it all over Moondog Spike. Eddie Marlin's over telling Richard Lee, get him out of here and get him out of here now. Richard Lee's not paying any attention. Whoa, Idol's got that chair. Working over on the Moondog and Flaming Star. They go running out of here. Moondog Spike's face is covered up with, guess, shaving cream there. I don't know. Richard Lee's called him off. He said, hey, get, he, he called him. He said, come on, they're going to suspend us. Yeah. That's right. The motor Eddie Marlin told Richard he was going to suspend him if he didn't get him out of here. So Richard called him out of the ring, but the Moondogs were going to try their best. Whoa. Stand up, Lawler threw that chair after him there. Take him on out of here, Richard. 
Eddie Marlin pointing the way to the door. Lawler after that suitcase that uh, Austin Idol brought in here. And there they go. The Moondogs and Richard Lee are out of here. Austin Idol, the universal heartthrob arrived. Boy, was I glad to see you come through that door, suitcase and all, when you got here. Here with the king right now. I told you that Austin Idol would be here, and he is here. And Moondogs, Moondogs, in case you didn't get enough just then, that is just a little fraction. That is just the beginning of what's in store for you boys tomorrow afternoon when you climb in the ring with Austin Idol and the King. So get ready for it. You know, I want to lay a little story out here. Keep this microphone close. About 4 o'clock this morning, Jerry, you don't know this either. About 4 o'clock this morning, my office received a call from an, an informant that said that maybe someone tampered with a private aircraft that I own down in South Florida. I'm not going to name the city at this point. My personal pilot, my chief engineer, and the local authorities, the local police department, after an extensive search, discovered that large quantities of water were poured into the fuel tanks. Now, those of you who do not know anything about aviation, that may mean nothing to you. But let me tell you about something about aviation that I know about, that that plane would not have had any problem taking off and lifting off. It would have had no problem at all getting to an altitude of about 30,000 feet. But at some point in time, the water diluting the fuel would then cause a problem. That problem is real simple. The engine stopped, the plane goes down. Now, in the last few years in wrestling and professional sports, I can tell you one thing that I've encountered. An awful lot of things. I've received hate mail. I've received love mail. I've been trying to be blackmail. I've had people try to destroy my real estate that I own. I've had vandalized automobiles, and that don't make no difference. I've had people try to beat me out of money. I've had people try to fraud me. I've had people try to do all kinds of things to me. I've been ambushed. I've been bushwhacked. I've been shanghaied. But nevertheless, it has never stopped me from doing what I want to do. But never has anybody tried to do what they tried to do to me just here today. And that was to commit murder. Without a doubt, premeditated attempted murder. The way I look at it, before the authorities get them, before the warrants are issued for their arrest, before they're locked up, I'm going to get them first. Now, you see, I ain't never been real big on animals, so I don't know a whole lot about training animals. I don't know a whole lot about making a dog sit. I don't know a whole lot about making a dog roll over. And I really don't know a whole lot about making a dog speak. But I can tell you what I am going to do. And it's going to happen tomorrow, Jack. And a few things I'm kidding, Brown. Oh, I said, oh, come on, come on. Let me tell you what's Now, look, I had nothing to do with it. You stand out here with the interview. I'm on your side. Leave us alone and tell us what you're going to do to the I'm dog. I'm going to make a dog play dead. I'm going to make a dog sit up and speak. And I don't care how big that coliseum is. And I don't care what corner they run to. And I don't care if it's up top. I don't care if it's down below. But I'm going to catch up with somebody, and I can say this to you. And I can say this to you. I don't get mad. I get even. Those are some mighty serious charges from Austin Idol. I don't know what happened in South Florida this morning. I wasn't there. If any of that that he says is true, it is incredibly serious charges. And I don't blame him for being mighty upset. He's still going to be upset, I guarantee you, tomorrow. Let's take a break. We'll be back. <laughs>